Hey everybody, it's Friend Sarman here with another episode of Settlement Tribal. Hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day. And I think, I think I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit here, and I'm gonna take in these uh, immigrants that have just arrived. There's only 11 of them. We don't have a ton of room for housing for them, but we do have the boarding house. So I think I'm gonna grab them. And I'm also feeling like our food is pretty good right now, and our water is pretty good right now, where we can grab these guys and maintain them and get them to work. For us to make more food and stuff to keep up with the demand that they're gonna be uh that they're gonna be putting on our stuff so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in some more fertile fields um we i'm gonna do four four more and we'll turn this back on and then we'll have two more people working at that and we got 13. i think we'll probably have to put in another set of homes probably like right in here uh we can do that right now we'll do this guy like so oh hey we might not have the space for this one. Oh yeah we do nice excellent all right so that's a couple more homes uh again that's for our procreation right we don't want to they don't have a good rate rate is decreased when they're in the boarding house we're gonna do it like that i did put in another pasture here for uh some turkeys a, one of the commenters said that uh in the last episode said the turkeys are really good for meat production so we're gonna put that in for sure I would also like to have uh, some salt workers going uh, from our salt workshop in the last episode, and then we can start making some salted fish. Now, uh, somebody else, somebody else in the comments in the last episode said, "Hey, make sure that you put this uh, on the ban list, the fish on the ban list." To do that, you hit I, and you go stock overview, and then you find the item that you want. You see this ban right here. Uh, so what this is going to do is prevent it from being eaten or used, but it can be processed. So we're gonna have a thousand fish that can be processed. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put the salt workshop workshop on and the curing workshop on, and we got salted fish, so we can get that rolling. And then once we get a point, a technology point, we are definitely definitely going to get ourselves uh, the furnace burden. Got burned that a couple times the last episode, thinking that I didn't need it when I did need it. So we'll get that going. We have a great source of spirits working right here our reserves are getting a little low so i was thinking about swapping the oats to agave tequila for us for uh another source of spirits i th think i got that in between episodes i didn't think you guys weren't with me when i got that agave seeds that appeared so that's great uh we s we're still low on fuel reserves uh, so that means we're going to be needing to get some more wood and we're gonna have to have a bigger stockpile than 400 especially especially if we're creating more houses so we'll plop that guy up to 600. uh what do we got for builders we have let's do one more builder and so if we have four that's gonna be eight workers over here for our new fields so that would leave us with one temporary worker for now if we do all of our fields and maybe we'll start with two and we'll see how the year goes and where we're at with food and then we can adjust accordingly uh, we have another we got a big well here and i'm wondering if i'm going to need another one to start uh keeping up with the group of people that just arrived but i think we should just hold off a little bit and we'll wait to see what the next year brings for us so we're moving along it's we're doing great uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab ourselves let's go peas peas seem to be really good for our beginner food here and i think i'll just turn these two into peas and i'll turn these two off and we'll just see where we're at with that. And then we can have a couple of people running around as temporary workers because we definitely need some temporary workers because we haven't had any for a while. So get that started. Oh, yeah, it looks like this one, this farm isn't even going to be operational this year, I don't think. Uh, if it is, it's not going to be nearly as good. Uh, and I've been putting these open warehouses all over the place. Like pretty much anywhere I find a little nook and cranny that I can stick one, I've been putting it. Got a little one over here, too. Uh, I like that. It's just another drop off point. You know, reducing the uh, travel time that the people have to walk. So it's working out pretty well. All right, so I'm just going to let this stuff get built, and uh, I'll be back with you in a moment when we have a tech point, and then we can get our furnace burden started. All right, so here's the deal. We do have another group of immigrants on their way to the town, and I think I'm going to grab those guys as well. We are doing very, very good on our food levels and our water. So we were producing double the the water we were using and so i took one person off water so we had another floater guy but look at this so we have over almost 1400 food in the green so we can i think we can handle another group of immigrants uh housing wise me not so much so let's go first of all they just arrived so let's grab these immigrants there's 11 of them and we should be able to deal with any of the diseases that they may bring for now that should be good and um, let's see what else oh i just put in this 
logging camp over here because we're still struggling with fuel. And so, and again, like I said, with the furnace burden, we're going to need even more timber. So it's going to be an even bigger problem. Speaking of that, we can go ahead and grab under mining furnace burden. Boom. We'll get that working. And I was thinking that we shift the two people that are working domestic fuel in our chopping house to the sawmill. And the reason why I want to do that is because the sawmill is supposed to be more efficient. And what I want to do is take the chopping house and turn this into a sawmill with the upgrade button here. So I think that's what we'll do here. We'll turn this off and we'll upgrade. We're going to need some timber, stone and iron ore to do that. So let's we'll go ahead and we'll get that queued up to get done. And uh, while we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and grab our production and our furnace burden that we just unlocked. And, you know, I'm probably going to do it over on this side of the map because that's where we got the demand for it. And I'm thinking I want this spot to be a kiln. Let's go right over here. This will work. We'll put this guy over here and then, that's, then it's close enough by the only thing that it's going to be far from is timber, but that's OK. It, it'll it'll get there. And we could also take some of this timber because this guy isn't going to reach all the way over here. And we could we could even put another logging camp right in here or just chop that those trees down as they grow manually like we have been doing uh, a lot of the times. So there we go. We got three more people working in the logging camp and we're still at 12 temporary workers. It was great. We'll just continue to maintain our vigil watch on our food and our beverages. Make sure that we got enough water to go around. And, you know, I'm looking at like, look at these storage yards, like most of it is full of water. So, uh, you know, I don't want that's unnecessary. You don't need a bunch of water just sitting there like 4000 is a ton of stored water and we're not using it to make paper or anything yet. So it's kind of a waste. It looks like our sawmill is upgraded already. That's great. So that means we had enough iron ore and stone lying around. It looks like we're going to need more of that. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab this stuff that's right here. There should be more iron ore somewhere pretty close. I thought I was ignoring it. I guess we have this over here. So I'll grab these two batches as well. I'm trying to when I'm gathering, I've noticed that, of course, once it gets winter, people get really cold and you're risking it. So somebody's got to walk way out here to gather this stuff and then all the way back and then to their house. Like that's a long ways and that's potential for them to freeze to death. So I try to do it in the warmer seasons and uh, to prevent that. So that's why I'm waiting until now to just get that stuff. And let's see, we've almost got our next technology. So the next technology I think we're going to get we were really we were in the red for a little bit there in our health levels. So I wanted to go down to bathhouse. Ooh, and we just got new livestock. Oh, I hope it's I hope it's buffalo. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll get to bathhouse. It's going to take one point from soap and one point for bathhouse. But if this is a critter that provides us with fat, we're going to be in business. Alpaca. I don't think alpaca provides us with fat. Maybe they do. We'll find out. I think they do. We have another pasture. This was for turkeys. We didn't have any turkeys left. Uh, so that was kind of weird. I think you can turn the alpaca fat or alpaca meat into fat with the butcher. So maybe instead of going soap, it would probably be under processing, wouldn't it? Meat processing, this is for the butcher. Yeah, let's get this. We'll get the meat processing. That's going to give us fat and chunks of meat. We need the fat really badly, and then we can get the soap. I feel like that makes more sense. So we'll grab that uh, in a little bit here. This needs about 600 more points. So looks like our furnace burden factor is good to go. Oops, I turned it off. I thought I was turning it on. And we are going to be using timber for that. I don't have coal yet. Mining is in yet another thing we definitely want to get into, but we probably shouldn't jump that right away. We've got 16 people in this boarding house. It is getting kind of full. So if we take a peek around town here, they're kind of running out of space. We could do another four houses right here. So that means we're going to need another market and we're going to need another, you know, all the things that go along with that. And I might do that over on this side. And uh, then we can just kind of have both sides of the river taken care of. I think that would be a good idea to do. So let's go ahead and we'll throw four more houses in over on this side over here. One like that and like that. And we'll grab our road and we'll do our little box. There we go. And uh, we got that going. Oh, and this thing, the sawmill is ready to roll now. So we got Amala in there and I'm going to turn this off. When we need to, we're going to be... I, well, I did put this to animal dung when we had some animal dung reserve. We have a 150 now. That's not a lot. Uh, actually, let's just do it. And if that stops, I'll turn it back on. And this is just going to go in between uh, animal dung and domestic fuels and wood timber and planks as we need the planks. I think we have a good amount still saved up. We haven't really been building a lot of things that demand planks. So that's going well. What else did we just get? Oh, yeah, the tech point. 
So let's go and grab ourselves under processing, meat processing, activate. There we go. Now we can grab our butcher, which is going to be right here. And so if we got all of our, you know, critters over here that are producing fat and stuff for us, it would make sense to me to put this guy about right there. And I want to put in another little road on this side of the well just to connect this a little bit better. I don't think we're encroaching on that yet. Oh, no, but we're close. Okay. Oh, it's going well. It's going well. But one thing I like about these logging camps is, is this. So look at all of these little plant guys in here. Super great. I wish, I wish we could somehow combine these two buildings. If you could have the logging camp and the gathering station, like, bestest pals, that would be great. You know, maybe we do that. You lose a little bit. You lose a little bit of the uh, production from trees and from the plants because of the buildings that take up the space. But um, I, don't, I don't know. I think that's going to be better. Let's get this built. And then I'm going to take this one out and we'll put uh, those people that are working there over here. And maybe we do, like I had mentioned, a logging camp over here. Oh, maybe we just leave this. Put a logging camp in and then we'll have double of this action going on. So let's, we'll see. We'll see what we end up needing to do. Definitely don't need that much more food. Yeah, see, look at that. Doing great on food. And look, while we're here, let's just check beverages. And so, yep, the gap's getting smaller, but that's okay. And I wish we could have more uh, more medicines, but we aren't that far down the tech tree yet. Ooh, we got an event, though. A strange patient clicked to jump. A hospital admitted a patient who was unable to move his limbs. The patient had been in a coma with a fever for a week but did not seem to have a life-threatening condition. Doctors have been studying for a long time and are at a loss, having never seen this disease before. So last time we did this, so I'm curious what's gonna happen here. Last time we did this, the patient shrunk in size and they were uh, a mentor, I guess? So I'm not really sure. And we took risks with the drugs that may be affected before. So let's try that again and let's see what's gonna happen. I'm wondering if they have, you know, there's an event and then it has a resolution depending on which one of these pick or if there's an event, and then depending on which one of these pick, there's a set of things that happen. So let's find out. The patient soon regained consciousness, but his body mysteriously shrank a lot, and he moved with a newfound agility. So that's the same result as last time. So maybe if we do it a third time, we can see if there's another end result. And then if there isn't, we can start to think that maybe there is only one resolution per button, and that would that makes sense to me. I just thought it might be a little bit more interesting if you know, instead of this guy got small, maybe he got huge, and now we have a giant running around or something like that. But uh, So that works. So I guess that worker is just probably fast now or something. It didn't specify who the patient was, just that a patient, so we don't really know. Okay, let's see. This guy, Butcher, almost built. We need that timber action, and it's uh, that time of year where we can be gathering some trees. So, like I said, we can cut some of this down, so let's do that. Mm, we just cut this down recently, so we haven't gotten that back yet. Well, I'll just go like this. Oh, shoot. Uh, now it's cold. Maybe not. Cancel that. We'll cancel that. I'll just have to watch once it gets warmer again. And we'll try to just get trees that are close by. Try and hasten the uh, gathering here. We can grab these little this little bundle of trees up here. That would be good. So, yeah, that'll help to get this gathering station and this butcher built up. Because we want those for sure. And we could do a sand pit. But we don't really need that yet. So... Uh, I'll be back in just a moment once we get this timber gathered up and we get these buildings built and we, then we can see where else we can go. All right, welcome back. We got our butcher up and running. We got the alpaca meat making us some chunks of meat and some fat. We had these at 200 and it said that we were already there at cap. So I put them up to 9,999 uh, 99, because I don't want to limit on it. It would be nice if they had like a little button right here that said continuous. That'd be cool. That'd be a nice little feature. A little quality of life action. Uh, but as you can see, it's lack of raw materials. I think we're looking for alpaca meats. We don't have a whole lot of alpaca guys, only a couple. So I think we're going to need to wait until we get a little bit more fats coming in. We have 238. That's pretty good uh, for our soap before we can start producing some soap. But we'll get in there. Our furnace burden is up to 200 cap on furnace burden. So I think that means we could go ahead and turn on our pottery workshop. But alas, we are low on temporary workers again. So one thing that I wanted to check is these gathering stations. Because I can see plants over here, I'm going to guess that this one produces more. So this is these have been around for about a year. Uh, so last year we got, you know, 40, 35, 86. You can, you can read the numbers there. And then if we check this one, 
Eh, see, it's slightly more. 48, man, well, maybe not slightly more. How many mushrooms do we get? 48, 48, 9. Eh, they're both doing pretty good. I, I could total up the numbers, but man, I'm not going to do that. So they're both doing pretty good. So I think it's okay to have both around. So the only downside... Oh, never mind. We have good temporary workers now. We're up to four. Okay, so let's do what we were going to do. Let's get this pottery workshop up and running. And then we can start to make cutlery. And then we can start to ship that stuff out. So we don't have any cutlery in here yet. But we will be able to put that in. And we'll have somebody working the ferry, of course, once we get to that point. But not quite yet. I don't want to fire up this kiln yet. I don't need the glass. I don't need the bricks at this point. Pretty soon we're going to need that stuff, but not quite yet. We're still crushing it with food. We're still doing great on beverages. So we're... We're able, we're in this period right now where we're able to grow a little bit, and it's very, very nice. And we have one more event, Scorching Summer, click to jump. So I think this is going to be, I know what this event is. So this is going to say, the heat is unbearable. Some citizens are resting by the riverside as they cool off, but there are also some that propose to go for a swim in the river. The river looks calm, and medicines are tempted to do it. Do you want to stop them? So when I said don't stop them before, I got a whole bunch of lobsters. So, let's see if we get a bunch of lobsters. The citizens were able to cool off the heat in the water and even caught many lobsters. 739 lobbies. Boom. Super great. Ugh. Awesome. <laughs> so, I like the events, but now that I know... And I'm going to feel for them a little bit. I know how to... I don't know. It's not really manipulating them, but using them to my advantage, I guess. And I guess that's not the worst thing. But I liked, uh, I liked it when they were a mystery and I didn't know what was going to happen. But well, maybe we'll get some new ones eventually, but man, not quite yet. So like I said, we don't really have enough fats to process anything, the soap yet. So we aren't going to get the soap in this episode. We'll do that in the next episode. So I hope that you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in the next episode of Settlement Survival. And I hope you have a fantastic and amazing rest of your day, evening or night.